Joe Hopkins here, and I, I wanted to talk to you guys today about something important, learning a new instrument, right? Uh, <laughs> I've learned a lot of new instruments in my life. Uh, if you remember, in elementary school, they would bring out those recorders, and they'd have you learn a little something on the recorder, right? I think I'm the only kid that ever really took that seriously, that uh, really made an attempt to learn to play the recorder. Uh, not that I play it anymore. I can't keep up with everything. By middle school, I was playing in the band. Uh, what was it? Elementary and middle school, I, I joined the band and was playing baritone horn and eventually tuba, trombone, trumpet a little bit. I tried the coronet. That's really hard. Tiny, tiny little mouthpiece, right? Put your mouth on something small. I won't put my mouth on something big. Yeah. But anyway... By high school, I was playing the guitar, and that's what I played for a really long time. And then at some point, uh, well, what did I pick up from? I found a banjo, right? Or was given a banjo. Not this one, as my other banjo. But, uh, you know, I was given a banjo and played around with it and tried to figure it out and had limited success and set it down for a long time. Uh, and mostly just played the guitar until... My wife and I started doing music together, and then she bought a mandolin, and I learned the mandolin. Mandolin is a great instrument to go to from the guitar, and what I learned is, by learning all these different instruments, I found that you learn different things about music, and you learn, uh, you actually get better at your primary instrument if you learn a little bit on something else. That happened with the mandolin. I started to learn different playing techniques, uh, man, he's got old strings on it. <laughs> anyway, I started learning different playing techniques and different, uh, different musical ideas from different instruments. And it really sunk in as I learned to, started to learn more and more instruments. I, I also, around the time we got a mandolin, I started picking up the banjo again. And I learned hammer claw banjo and, you know, took a little bit of the finger picking I knew from guitar and found that that would work too, right? Learning different things. Hammer claw really opened it up for me, really made it fun. And, you know, it, it's nice to do things like that. Learn different techniques, different, uh, different ways of looking at things on different instruments. Uh, the interesting thing is the hammer claw technique I ended up bringing over to the uh, ukulele, which you can do that on a ukulele too. Uh, nice thing about mandolin, ukulele, banjo, they're all very guitar-like. So if you play the guitar, these aren't that different. From the mandolin, it's a nice jump over to the violin. If you want to play the fiddle, this is tuned like a fiddle. So it's the same tuning. It's basically a fiddle with frets, you know? So it's a step between the violin and the guitar. If you're a violinist and want to head over toward the guitar, this is a good instrument to go to. If you're a guitarist and you want to learn how to play the fiddle, this is a good intermediary step, you know? You still pick, you still got frets, you still strum stuff. It's out of tune. Uh, but you're doing the same thing you do on a guitar, but it's tuned like a fiddle. So when you go to the fiddle, all you have to do is learn the bowing. You already know where the notes are because you played the mandolin. You know, uh, banjo's got a lot of different tunings. You can tune it like a guitar. You can tune it to an open tuning. A lot of people like me do open G, which is like a guitar, but with the uh, high E string tuned down to a D. So it's similar in a lot of ways, but it... it has you looking at music differently. Another instrument I picked up when my wife and I started recording, because, uh, you know, you need, a, you need bass in there, I bought a bass guitar and started playing bass. And it's interesting how you have to start looking at things differently, right? String muting is way more important on the bass than it is on the guitar. Uh, however, it can be important on the guitar. You start learning the bass and you start really getting good at it. It improves your guitar playing. It really does. The techniques and the things you pick up on other instruments carry over to the main thing you're doing. So even if you don't want to be a mandolin player or a banjo player or a bass player, it can be pretty good to learn a little bit of those instruments. For instance, I, we got a piano at one point. <laughs> And I started learning a little bit of piano. 
And, uh, well, I gotta tell you, I'm not much of a pianist, but it has changed the way I look at music. It's, it's music theory laid out in front of you. It's really instructive. And even if you don't learn to read music for piano, even if you just learn to pick out chords and, a, and some notes here and there, it really instructs the way you play guitar or whatever your main instrument is. This is uh, my main instrument's the guitar. And most of the people that watch my channel here, their main instrument is the guitar. But I'm sure some of you have your primary instrument as something else. But regardless, it can be good to do something a little bit new. Even on the guitar, try some open tunings. Pick up a slide. Try to learn a little bit of that kind of stuff. Uh, lap steel. I, I have a lap steel guitar. I'm no uh, expert player at it, but it has really opened up my perspective on other things. Uh, I have a lot of instruments and learning them really helps me to be a better musician, a better songwriter, a better producer, and honestly, a better guitarist. It's surprising how the things you learn on piano can carry over to guitar, but they do. They do indeed. So here I am encouraging you to learn a new instrument. Uh, and it doesn't have to be expensive. I mean, uh, let's see. I've got some cheap stuff here. This is an Ashford mandolin. This wasn't a lot of money. Actually, when I broke, or when I bought it, when I broke it, no, when I bought it, it was broken. The uh, bridge was broken. The bridge is replaceable. So they took some money off. I think it was like 75 bucks. You know, not a lot of money. And I've got, my first banjo was given to me. And this is a Harley Benton banjo. It was like $105 when I bought it. I've got a couple Harley Benton fiddles. There are fiddles online that are you know, on Amazon that are pretty cheap. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money learning an instrument. Even piano, if you don't mind moving it yourself, people give them away all the time. Or if you want an inexpensive electric keyboard, they don't cost a lot of money. Some of them don't. Some of them are expensive as hell, but you can get ones cheap. My first uh, keyboard was a uh, what was it? It was a Radio Shack brand. My wife found it at the Goodwill and it was 20 bucks at the Goodwill, but it had MIDI plugs. I can plug it into the computer and I used it to record all kinds of stuff because it doesn't sound cheap when you're doing MIDI. MIDI sounds however good the program is. It sounds like anything you want it to sound like. But yeah, you don't have to spend a lot of money to learn something new. And I'd, like I said, I'd, I'd recommend it. Even if, you just, even if you just learn a little bit, chords or a couple of notes or just the basic ideas of how the instrument is played, even if you don't get good at it, it makes you a better musician. So give it a try. Try something new, right? Even if it's just tuning your guitar to an open tuning and trying some stuff out, give it a try. And, uh, you know, I think you might like it. You might find you really like uh, whatever it is you're trying, right? I never thought I'd be uh, uh, that good at banjo, but I got good at it, and I really enjoy it. Haven't picked it up in a little while. I need to, because it's fun. <laughs> so, hey, and a lot, I hear a lot of people say that, I really want to learn the banjo. I really want to learn the fiddle. Well, then learn it. Pick it up. Maybe, maybe you won't be any good at it. Maybe, like me, you'll find that you actually are pretty good at a couple of these instruments, you know? Not much of a piano player, and I'm just so-so on the fiddle, but I got pretty good at the banjo and the mandolin, and they're fun. Anyway, I think that's all I got for today. Hey, check out, uh, check out the end screen here in a minute. There's some playlists, there's reviews, there's a, my album is on there. I Didn't Get a Memory by Joe Hopkins. There's a playlist there, and you, links to streaming down below. Check it out. And uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.